I am making a keto casserole. I'm going to be doing a chicken casserole with a bunch of different veggies that I have. So right now I already have my chicken cooking in the wok back there. And I'm about to pull it out and just cut it up into pieces and then continue cooking it and adding in some seasonings and some olive oil. And then I have a lot of my veggies already chopped up, which I will show you in a second. Um, I am going to go ahead and add in some fresh garlic to my chicken just to add a little bit of flavor. I just use one clove of garlic, chopped, diced it up really small, and I'm going to just add it into the chicken while it's cooking. And then I'm going to do a little bit of dill seed, actually, yeah, dill seed seasoning. It's a dash of cayenne red pepper just because I like um, a little bit of spice. So I went ahead and added a bunch of seasonings into my chicken. And now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So you can see all my seasoning. I'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil just to kind of crisp up my chicken. And I'm going to go ahead and I have some vegetables here. I've got broccoli, pepper, celery, and a little bit of zucchini. And I'm going to go ahead and add that into my pan with my chicken just because I want it to be a little bit cooked before I put it in the oven, which I have preheated to about 300 and 50 to 375 degrees. So like I said, I'm going to add these veggies into the chicken. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and move it into my glass pan, which I'll show you guys. So I'm going to just put a little bit of olive oil in this pan so that the chicken and veggies don't stick. So I'm drizzling a little bit of my organic olive oil into the pan. That way it doesn't stick. You can just let it slide around. And then I went ahead and started grating up some of my organic cheese over here. Got a lot of stuff in the way. Um, so I'm grating up some of my organic cheese. And that's what I'm going to add in with the chicken and veggies once they're done cooking. Now that my chicken and veggies are done, I'm going to go ahead and pour them into my pan that is already slightly greased with olive oil. This is what it looks like in the pan. Now once you've cooked your chicken and veggies, you can go ahead and add in your chopped celery and peppers. Then one more dice there. And then I have some organic sour cream, so I'm just going to do um, a couple spoonfuls of this, and then once I mix it all together, uh, you can kind of just adjust how much you use um, based on how much sauce you want. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of this organic mayonnaise. Just about a spoonful of that. Add a little bit more of the dill seed seasoning. Just a couple dashes there going to throw in a little bit more of my olive oil and then I'm going to go ahead and I have some lemon so I'm going to just do a little bit of lemon juice on top here and then I'm going to add I'm going to mix all of this together before I add in my cheese Now that I've added in all of my sauces, I'm going to go ahead and add in my grated organic cheese and then just mix that in a few times. And then I'm also going to use a few slices of my Kerrygold butter and just place it in there. And then that's pretty much it. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the oven. And I just do it until everything has melted. And I like for the top to get a little bit crispy. So probably about 15 minutes. Some things that I'm going to add into my casserole, which you don't have to do. I'm going to do a few organic greens. Um, so it's just kind of a mixture of some greens. And I'm going to put that on the bottom. And then I have some cucumber here that I've sliced up a little bit. And I'm just going to place that in the bottom as well. And I can even kind of eat the casserole with this. And a lot of the flavors and that sour cream are going to melt down onto the cucumber slices. 
and then I have some green apple as well um, that I just did a few slices to kind of throw in there and then I have a boiled egg that I might chop up and then mix in with it as well. Um, some alternatives to the sour cream mix that I kind of tossed the whole casserole in. You don't have to use sour cream. You could use a ricotta cheese. You, could, you don't have to use any cheese or anything like that if you wanted to just do more of the olive oil or some homemade pesto you could throw in there and keep it a little bit more the oil and vinegar feel. Or you can use some organic um, yogurt or the probiotic yogurt that I mentioned in a few other videos and mix that up with the sour cream or even a ricotta cheese or cottage cheese. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can make this. And so I would just kind of suggest you do it however you like.